everyone, this is Reefer Matt. Thought I'd do a little breakdown video on a 36 gallon for you. This is my 36 gallon bow front. It is a marine land. I got it from uh, PetSmart. I believe about four and a half years ago. These are a few of the coral that are in there. So a pretty softy uh, heavy. I think I only have one LPS in this tank. Mostly Zoas. Um, it was my tank coming back into the hobby back in 2018. And it's a little mushroom rock. And I was going to clean up the cyano at the bottom, but I wanted to show you that cyano does come in different colors. That's actually green cyano. So I'm going to put a little chemi-clean in that, and that'll take care of that. This tank has live rock and live sand. Back in 2005 I had a tank and this is what I was used to getting. So when I got back in in 2018 I happened to find some live rock and I put it in this tank even though it was quite pricey. And despite all the precautions people say about live rock I haven't had any huge problems from having it in this tank. Lighting on this tank is provided by two current Orbit R24 lights. I've had the old current loop lights before and I don't suggest those for growing coral but these lights seem to fit the bill. The only thing I don't like about these lights is the app but the lights themselves work pretty good. And up top I just got a couple tubes holding my return up so that when the power goes off it doesn't siphon all the water and overflow my sump underneath. I've also drilled a hole into that return as well to help break the siphon. And then this is my egg crate top to prevent fish from jumping out. And I did not drill this tank, so that's a hang-on overflow. And uh, everybody who's had tanks back in the day are very familiar with those. And they work pretty good as long as you keep them clean. That's the inside of the box there. Behind this door is my highly sophisticated sump. Are you ready? So my sump on this is just a 10 gallon Rubbermaid container. I have the protein skimmer there. There's a little filter sock with the return, my heater, and my return pump. I have run Chato in here for a refugium and uh, I'll just check my nitrates to see if I need to do that from time to time. But most of the time a water change just takes care of the nitrates. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my sump. There's not really a lot to it. Pretty simple. So while this tank is on the smaller side, I highly recommend it to anybody looking to break into the reefing hobby. I like the curved glass of the bow front because it creates sort of a panoramic view of the tank. Live stack for my tank include a Bangai Cardinal, a Pajama Cardinal, a Six Line Rass, a Tomato Clown, and a Green Chromis. The cleanup crew consists of a short spine urchin, some snails, and some hermits. This tank has changed a lot over the years. Um, I've probably redone this tank at least two or three times by now. Um, certain things would grow into others and then I would just not be happy with it so I would completely redo it. and. Now I just pretty much have a lot of zoas in there because zoas are one of my favorites. I am just a regular reefer like you are. I just happen to stick with it and find what works for me and what doesn't work for me. So hopefully I can help you find what works for you as well. If you like these videos, please subscribe and I will make more to share my reefing successes and failures with you. Hi, I'm Reaper Matt. 
I just wanted to say hello to all my fellow Southeast Michigan reefers. Thank you for watching my video and happy reefing.